What's up guys? Welcome to Ride the Coffee Bean. Today I am about to fly to Bergen to meet uh, a friend. And uh, I had some hours to kill at the airport. So I thought I would show you how, uh, how I make good coffee at the airport. Because uh, coffee at the airport is usually terrible. That's why I bring my own coffee. Um, it's very simple. So, of course, this may be a little bit overkill. I have a, a Comandante grinder and uh, fresh beans and everything. But of course, you can do this a lot simpler. Um, but let me show you how I do it. So today I have a bag of uh, the fruity bean roasted by Langera, where I work. So I just usually take a handful of beans, um, usually about uh, 12 to 15 grams. And I'm using a Commandante grinder and uh, about 18 clicks. There you go. Ah, nothing like freshly roasted, freshly ground coffee. But of course, we need water. And I didn't bring a water boiler. But luckily for me, at the airport, there are a bunch of coffee machines that you can just uh, help yourself. So let me show you how I uh, steal my water. Two cups, big ones, and uh, tea water. Ugh. Now I have warm water, and I have my freshly ground coffee. And so now what I do is just pour the coffee in the water. And uh, I saw the spoon. Just make sure all the coffee is wet. And then let's just wait for uh, about four minutes and the coffee will be, uh, will be ready. The water in these machines is of course not the best water, but if you have good coffee, you can still make a, a decent cup of coffee. That's about four minutes. And now I take my spoons again and I just break the surface let all the grounds sink to the bottom and with the other cup I scrape all the gunk out all the crema with all the bitterness in it and then just let it sit for uh, about half a minute to a minute so that all the grounds can sink to the to the bottom get my cup ready great cup from Langira this cup is my favorite coffee cup it's uh, made by a company called Mir. Um, and by buying these, you actually support uh, humanitarian projects around the world. And they have a code at the bottom that you can scan when you buy the cup and you uh, can see which projects this cup actually supported. And you can read all about it on the website. Really, really cool. And these cups keep the coffee hot for quite a long time and tasting delicious. Now this is where it sometimes becomes a little bit messy because now I have to pour very carefully. So with the paper cup, I bend it a little bit so I, I form a, a spout like this. And then I just pour very carefully. If you pour carefully, all the grounds will stay at the bottom and you'll get a very clear cup of coffee. There we go. And that's how you make great coffee at the airport. Delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tip. Uh, next time you're traveling, bring some, uh, some good coffee and make yourself coffee instead of spending uh, a bunch of money on crap coffee at the airport. Give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see uh, what I end up doing next. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Mm. Delicious.